So let's see what these Oregon Wise guys are up to. Hi there. Pepto and I are just finishing up some dishes from the big party. It has been a long, fun, and interesting day. It all began this morning when Pepto told me about his big dream of someday opening his own restaurant. I knew Pepto liked to cook, but I had no idea he had such big plans. After hearing of his plan, I suggested we throw a party for the rest of the Oregon Wise guy so he could test out his cooking skills. He thought it was a great idea. Pepto could pretend he was a restaurant owner and I could be the health inspector. So Pepto began planning the menu and I ran right to the computer and printed out all the information I could find about food safety. You know me, as the brain, I like to be sure of all of the rules. Pepto's mom thought it was a fine idea and took us to the grocery store so we could get some supplies. Pepto went right to the produce section. He loaded up the basket with colorful veggies and delicious looking fruits. I went to the meat section to get some lean ground beef for burgers. As I brought the meat back to the buggy, my plan was to test Pepto on his first food safety lesson. I handed him the meat and asked him to put it in the cart. The seat of the cart was already full of fresh fruits and veggies. He took the meat and placed it all by itself in the front of the grocery cart, far away from the fresh fruit food. This was exactly right. I had just read that you always keep raw meat away from fresh foods when shopping. Does anybody know why that's important? Because did you know before you cook meat, it can have bacteria and if it gets on your fresh fruits and vegetables and you eat them, that bacteria goes inside of you. So before meat is cooked, you wanna keep it away from everything that's fresh. Once we arrived at home, it was time to put the groceries away. Let's see if Pepto would pass this next test. We unloaded the bags onto the counter. There were three items that I knew needed to go into the refrigerator right away. Can you pick out which three there were? So let's take a look. Is it the carrots or the grapes or the bread or the eggs or the oatmeal or the flour or the milk or the meat? Cerebrum the Brain said there were three things that need to go in the refrigerator right away. Which three things are they? Do you know? I wonder if Pepto knows. Great! He went right to the eggs and milk and put them in the refrigerator first. Then he picked up the ground beef, which he had set aside on the counter away from everything else, and put it on the bottom shelf alone. Good job. Now it was time to make the produce platter. Before Pepto began preparing the fruits and veggies, there were a few things he needed to do according to what I had learned about food safety. I wasn't sure if Pepto knew about them. To my surprise, he did them all. First, he wiped down the counter with hot, soapy water he did an extra good job on the spot where the raw ground beef package had been sitting. Then he washed his hands with soap. Next, he washed the fruits and veggies off with cool water before preparing them. Pepto's mom came in to help with the cutting part. She seemed quite impressed with us so far. Once that was done, it was time to make the homemade oatmeal raisin cookies. The rest of the Oregon Wise guys are going to be thrilled, especially Perry Stolick, who loves them not only because they taste so good, but because they have high fiber oatmeal and raisins in them. Do you guys remember what Perry Stolick is? What organ she is? She's the intestines, and the intestines love fiber, right? Yeah. The 
The cookie dough was all mixed up. These cookies were going to be great. Baking cookies from scratch is one of Pepto's favorite things to make. But this is where a huge food safety lesson came in. Should Pepto taste the cookie dough now that it is all mixed? What do you think? Is that okay to do? No, don't do it, Pepto, I shouted. Can you figure out why Pepto shouldn't eat the cookie dough? There is an ingredient in the mixture that needs to be cooked before it is eaten. Can you guess what it is? Here is a hint. Pepto had to crack them open to add them to the recipe. Do you know what ingredient needs to be cracked and needs to be cooked before you eat it? That's right. Cookie dough has raw eggs in it. Phew, that was a close one. Pepto put the spoonful down right away and thanked me for stopping him just in time. Pepto's mom helped us bake the cookies and then we all sat back and enjoyed one. This is how cookies should be eaten. Warm, right out of the oven and with everything in them cooked. We had done a lot of work to get ready for the party. Now it was time for me, Inspector Cerebrum, to give Pepto his food safety inspection score. Let's recap some of the lessons he learned and decide what score he should receive. So when Pepto was shopping and we was asked to place the raw ground beef in the buggy, where did he put it? That's right, he put it in the front of the cart away from the other food. When we were putting away the groceries, what did he do with the milk, eggs, and ground beef right away? Once again, he did the right thing. He put the eggs and milk in the refrigerator and then put the ground beef on a shelf in the refrigerator away from the other food. Let's see, do you remember what three things he did before he made the fruit and veggie platter? That's right, he washed the counter, especially the place where the meat was sitting, washed his hands with soap, and then rinsed the fruits and veggies with water. Wow, what a good memory you have. Finally, what lesson did Pepto learn about cookie dough when it comes to food safety? That's right, he learned not to eat uncooked cookie dough because it has raw eggs in it. Wait until the cookies are cooked and then enjoy them. As the inspector of this new pretend restaurant, I was ready to post my food safety score. Pepto deserved a 100. Thank goodness we stopped him from eating that cookie dough. Just as I was putting up his score, the guests began to arrive. It was going to be a great party and a healthy and safe one too. I think Pepto is going to be a great success in the restaurant business someday, don't you?